This look is very extra. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is my first video in Pandoween 2020. It doesn't rhyme anymore now that we're not in the teens anymore. This year's Pandoween is gonna be a little bit shorter and not as official as in previous years just because I'm dealing with health issues. So I'm kind of feeling out how I'm doing and seeing if I'm able to make new videos and kind of going by a tentative schedule. But if this year I end up not making a whole lot of Pandoween videos, that will be why. But obviously for today, I'm feeling up to actually making a video. So here we are. A quick thing that I also wanna mention before we get into the video, I have a new Pandoween merch line for this year. Last year I did my cute and spooky design and this year I have a new 2020 cute and spooky design. This one features the pastel Frankenstein look that I did for Pandoween last year. The actual art for the design was done by my very talented friend AJ Artistry. I will have a link to her Instagram down in the description and some examples of her work on screen here. Please be sure to go and support her and give her a follow. She's very, very talented. If you guys are interested in picking up this merch line, I will have a link down in the description and it will be available in a whole bunch of different apparel styles. This line will be available until November 1st and you can use the code Pandaween for the next week to get 10% off your order so please be sure to check that out if you are interested. Anyway all of that said let's get into today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a cosplay story time but of course it being Pandaween this is going to be a Halloween themed cosplay story time. This is the time that on Halloween a friend and I while in cosplay obviously because it was Halloween ended up serenading a house full of strangers. And if that sounds weird, that's because it most definitely is. So for context, um, I have always loved trick-or-treating. It has always been my favorite part of Halloween. And ever since like not being able to trick-or-treat, because obviously you get too old, it's been really hard to figure out what to do on Halloween. But of course, back when it was, you know, acceptable for me to trick-or-treat, um, I was always super, super into that. So I trick-or-treated all throughout my teens and I uh, stopped doing it when I was 20 because I feel like that that's most definitely the cutoff. I think it's still acceptable to trick-or-treat while you're still a teenager, but as soon as I hit 20, that's when I had to stop. Um, so this story took place during one of my last year's trick-or-treating. I believe this was back in 2013. I was at the end of my teens, and when I got to that point where I was kind of at the, at the older and kind of end range of being able to trick-or-treat, I would always try and go as hard as I could for the actual Halloween costumes to kind of make up for the fact that I was older. Um, so for that year, a friend and I decided to cosplay Marceline and Princess Bubblegum. I was Marceline, of course. I say of course, but I feel like a lot of people would expect me to be Princess Bubblegum, but no, I've always been a Marceline person. So yeah, so that year I cosplayed Marceline, I did the body paint and everything, went all out as much as I could, and so the plan was for my friend and I to basically hang out, give out some candy, go to Starbucks and have some treats, and then actually do a little bit of trick-or-treating. So we kind of varied it a little bit and tried to make it as fun of a night as we could, and it was a very, very, very fun night. We went, we handed out some candy to kids, then we went and we got pumpkin spice frappuccinos and Halloween cookies at Starbucks. We had a great time doing that. Uh, fully in cosplay, fully in body paint. That's always fun to do in public. And then we, of course, did a little bit of trick-or-treating. We were a little bit worried about how people would maybe react with us being older. We were probably, um, I think we were about like 17 or 18 at the time, which looking back isn't that old, but at the time we kind of were like, oh, are we, are we too old to trick-or-treat? But people were very impressed by our body paint. People really liked our costumes. And so it was all totally fine. Um, everybody was, was very chill. And also that year there hadn't been a whole lot of trick-or-treaters, I think. So when people saw us, they were like, oh, we haven't gotten a whole lot of people. So it's really awesome to see you guys. So that was a very, very nice thing. So we're walking around the neighborhood, having a great, great time. And we get to this one house. It's this big old house. And we go up onto their porch and we ring the doorbell and everything. And these two kind of young adults, I want to say about mid twenties, answer the door. And they're like, oh, wow, we like your costumes. Very cool. We like the body paint. That's impressive. But we have decided to randomly select you to do a trick. In order to get your candy, you have to do a trick. And I think they did this because we were older. I think I, I have a I have a strong feeling that they didn't do this for like younger kids, but I think they, when they saw that we were like older teenagers and that's the reason why they decide to have us do a trick. So I'm kind of drawing a blank. I'm like, I know that we can do some sort of trick, but I'm not sure what. And my friend who I'm with immediately looks at me and, and they're like, 
what if we sing the Pokemon theme? And they're like super gung-ho for it. They're like, let's sing, let's sing the Pokemon theme because that was a song that we liked to sing together all the time. We had a whole bunch of meme songs that we used to sing together and the Pokemon theme was one of our favorites. So that was kind of the perfect choice and something that I hadn't even considered. I liked the idea. I thought that was a very, very clever idea because obviously it's something that we like to sing together. We know the lyrics and like the Pokemon theme is always a banger. So um, I thought, all right, yeah, let's do it. So we both decide to sing the Pokemon theme. You just need to picture this. We're standing on this porch, completely in body paint, and we just start belting out the Pokemon theme. We're just like, we're singing it like super loud. And as we're singing it, more and more adults, the same kind of the same age as the first two, come out. One of them has a kid. There's at least like at this point, seven people in this house who have come out to listen to us just belt out the Pokemon theme song. So we're here in body paint, dressed as Marceline and Princess Bubblegum, just like belting out the Pokemon theme to this house just full of strangers. And they're really getting into it. They start like stomping their feet. They start clapping their hands and they're both, they're all like really, really into it and like really impressed with like how hard we're going. Cause we went really hard. Like we got really, really into singing the Pokemon theme. And they're all like, yeah, they're all like head bobbing and everything. It was really, really fun. It was just like such a kind of crazy, unexpected thing to be doing on Halloween, right? Like this is the last thing we expected to be doing but we were really really enjoying it and it was just fun to get to kind of liven up this night for this huge house full of people so we finished singing and they're like wow that was really good that you know we really had a lot of fun listening to that and they give us a bunch of chocolates they were these like cool little endangered species chocolates so i guess a part of the profits from the sales of those chocolates actually went to helping endangered species so that was really awesome so they gave us a bunch of these chocolates and then we went on our way and i realized that that's quite a short story but that's pretty much it that's pretty much the gist of the story we ended up singing the pokemon theme very loudly to this house full of people and it was a really really fun memory so yeah <laughs> that was a lot shorter than i thought it would be but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless um let me know what crazy things have happened to you on halloween i'd love to chat about halloween down in the comments especially since we can't really have a proper halloween this year it would be nice to get to live vicariously through some of your guys' experience so please be sure to share them down below um again if you are interested in this year's panda ween merch i will also have links to that down in the description and uh yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i'll see you guys all next time but until then panda pieces Please be sure to take care. Bye.